We're going live. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is the first day after the season of Epiphany. And it's an important time in our religious tradition because it's a time when we believe that God who made his, where, where God made God's love present to us by sending us Jesus. Um, Epiphany also tells us that God's love is to be shared beyond our individual community, our individual parish, our individual family. It is, is, it is meant to be shared with all. That's what this feast of Epiphany, the manifestation means. It is the celebration that God's love is meant for all peoples. So with that, let us begin this morning prayer on Thursday, January 7th. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the people. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear, will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will be heard in our land and ruin or destruction within your borders. You, you will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. For thus says the Lord, you were sold for nothing, and you shall be redeemed without money. For thus says the Lord God, long ago, my people went down into Egypt to reside there as aliens. The Assyrian too had oppressed them without cause. Therefore, now therefore, what am I doing here? Says the Lord, seeing that my people are taken away without cause. Their rulers howl, says the Lord, and continually all day long, my name is despised. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, on that day, they shall know that it is I who speak. Here am I. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God and I will praise God, the God of my people and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. 
the chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, O God, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and the worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them to safety in your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven golden lampposts. I know your works, your toil, and your patient endurance. I know that you cannot tolerate evildoers. You have tested those who claim to be apostles, but are not, and have found them to be false. I also know that you are enduring patiently and bearing up for the sake of my name, and that you have not grown weary. But I have this again, but I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember then from what you have fallen. Repent and do the work you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Yet this is to your credit. You hate the works of Nicolaitans, and I also hate. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. To everyone who conquers, I will give permission to eat from the tree of life that is in the paradise of God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. 
and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw them out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God.
<clears throat> the prayers. Hear our cry, O oh God. And listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver us and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation. Give to your people the blessing of peace. Declare your glory among the nations. And your wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Never forget the lives of your poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only son to the peoples of the earth, lead us, who know you by faith to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A prayer for our country. Look graciously, almighty God, upon this land, Fill it with all truth and all peace. Where it is in pride, subdue it. Where it is in need, supply it. Where it is in error, rectify it. And where it is in default, restore it. And where it holds to that which is just and compassionate, support it. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. I offer prayers of thanksgiving for my sister-in-law, Edith Lewis, who will celebrate her 80th birthday tomorrow. For the blessing that she is to me and to our entire family and everyone who knows her, I give great thanks for her life and ask God to continue, continue to give her good health and blessings. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I also ask your prayers for everyone on our parish prayer list, especially I pray for Ruth and Fritz uh, in their grief for the loss of their daughter Durrani, for Ruth who is in the hospital. May she be restored to complete health. And I also pray for Ernie Jackson, who is battling COVID, and for Sally Ethelson, and all those who are sick from the coronavirus, may they be restored to health. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the continued distribution of the vaccine to as many people as possible, may that happen quickly, efficiently, and justly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I pray for our country. I pray that we recognize the white supremacy, racism, American exceptionalism that our country has been built with and find ways to deconstruct that. Um, I pray that we um, spread this recognition 
among our fellow citizens and that we find a way to repent and then heal and move forward. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. To pray for the repose, of, the repose of the soul of people who lost their lives yesterday in the chaos and violence at the Capitol. May light perpetually shine upon them. Amen. I pray additionally for the next 13 days um, in which our country is under the current administration that uh, we remain safe, democratic, and, um, and continue to prepare for the incoming administration in a way that is a peaceful transition of power. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.